just joining the back end of this um, arena just to get a bit of a warm up before the actual tutorial session for myself um, let's go easy let's go easier castle it's tempting let's go for it let's catch up Oh, they've gone fancy. I don't know if they should have gone fancy, but let's see if we can make them pay the price for it or not. It's okay saying things are good. You have to prove it's good. Let's just bring this here. Knight must move now. Yes, okay. So we could give it a little bit of a touch, but we don't have many supporting. So let's grab this first. And let's just bring the bishop here. You know what I'm going for. He's blocked off that, so yeah, he's not stupid. Okay, let's go and attack the knight. Still looking for this discovered. Nah, he's not. He's definitely a bit too wily for me. Okay, let's uh, bring this here. Attacking the knight, x-raying through to the king. Queen can, or maybe the king can support itself. Is that too much for the king, though? before we go rushing anyway. Is it too much? I don't think it is, is it? We could try and just go for a kamikaze, opening up the space type thing. Um, I think we can take either way because we've got to check on the king. King moves. Um, I have space here, but um, something's under attack, isn't it? The knight's under attack. Let's go with this. He's got his queen as well supporting, so we can take with a check, get the check on the king. If the queen takes take, um, blah, 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 blah. not much really going. Could go for this, but can't really squeeze anything in, can I? It looks nice, but it's not functional. If I could get here to go here, then that would be nice. But I don't think that's going to happen. But we'll give it a try. Yeah, it's it's like the master of blocking. The master of blocking. Let's just go with the x ray through to the queen if the pawn takes. Oh, uh, he's got to check on my king. He's got my pawn, maybe. Okay, but we're still trying to make inroads towards his. <gasps> Sugary. Check. Bishop's the only one that can go in there, isn't it? Or maybe the knight comes here. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Let's go here. It, isn't it wow okay that was a nice warm-up one we just wanted to keep the pressure on the king area just have a look at the analysis on that and this player was like the master of absolute blocking so it wasn't guaranteed that we were going to get anything let's just have a quick look and see what the computer is saying uh, let's keep moving keep moving Alright, okay, so that's pretty basic, and then they do the night move. I did say I don't think the night move was right, but you have to prove these things. The opponent, I thought, was doing a good job blocking everything off, but in my head, I just thought that that wasn't, didn't seem right. Maybe because of the case of it's moving it twice or whatever, but it's not actually moving it to attack a key, a key space or a key area. Uh, it's not working in conjunction with other pieces to do any devastation so that's really why I thought well it's not doing much and maybe they've lost the tempo and movement in developing other pieces such as like the bishop and getting the king castle that type of thing so we bring the bishop through x-ray and through to the queen like we said bringing the bishop back now all these pawns around his kingside area are getting kind of um, spoilt so are they considering going queenside castle so we bring the bishop through now, attacking the knight. Doesn't want the knight taking, didn't think he would, uh, as, we, as we mentioned. And then we captured the bishop, captured. And now we're looking, as we can see, for the x-ray through to the knight because nothing's protecting. But they're very clever and they block that off. So we bring the knight through now, looking to exchange off. If they don't, then we take with the pawn. And again, they do another avoiding knight move, which really doesn't improve their position. 
they probably would have been better just taking the knight off the board so that's twice they've done two knight moves as like evasive um, actions but in my head I'm thinking I think he may have lost a little bit of tempo but I have to do something about that you know it's okay knowing this stuff but you have to practically do something about it so we bring the queen through x ray through to the king king comes down so now the king is defending which is not really a good thing for the king because it's looking a little bit airy so we did say then we could probably just go and do a kamikaze thing and see what happens with these pawns here because we've got enough pieces around his king area to hopefully um dishevel it a bit his king is kind of home alone because it is there there's nothing directly protecting it the knight's not protecting it and the bishop's not protecting it the rook isn't the queen isn't so in the back of my head i'm thinking there must be something here so they push down onto our knight so we can take the pawn with a check on the king pretty straightforward simple stuff there and then we bring the knight across i know there must have been a dip at some stage this is why we like doing evaluation um, we're bringing the knight across because our knight is under threat what does it actually suggest queen f3 queen f3 to come here and attack here that would have been a little bit smoother wouldn't it but i don't really think i had a problem i know it dropped like it's dropped minus 3.6 uh, from that knight move even now i'm still looking and i'm going i don't really see a problem with it h takes g5 okay let's see what ah so the rook is then attacking our queen so then if we take is there a problem knight takes f6 then yeah we're not really going to be taking there are we? because his queen's just going to take and we lose out ah interesting time so right just looking back on that get rid of the tunnel vision um, for that brief moment that felt okay but that was a winner so we need to really focus on the next stage which that was nice and simple I think my brain can work with that bringing that back here to put pressure there yeah so that was a kind of a missed opportunity or could we have not just taken with a check here I don't know if that would have worked though shall we just give that a try and that's dropped to minus one so it's not dropped to minus three but to minus one obviously the rook takes and probably looking for sites of coming here but that's probably wrong what's it saying now c takes the knight and would we not be able to go here now then still showing minus something king h8 it looks very uncomfortable for them but I don't think we've got a clear way in have we and then looking to take here what's it saying next knight f4 it's not saying the opponent would have found these things though knight f4 is this one is it yeah knight f4 so it's blocking the power of the rook so in essence taking here would have made sense it's still minus two but <coughs> it's still workable it's not like a major major loss if we had taken with the pawn but in the eyes of the computer it was a lot better than doing the knight move which we did okay all right so they took with the knight anyway so we won that continuation always bear in mind when you're looking at the evaluation and if you have come out advantageous in the game um then your opponent hasn't seen the magical moves that the computer is saying so it's just so that you can then look forward and potentially try and avoid that type of concept uh, in the future so at this point here I'm thinking we're looking quite good we're trying to get the pawn here the bishop here but he does block off so we can capture and now we can put a two on one on there but then the magic can come with the check on the king so that's quite annoying so we have to move the king but then we've got space with the rook i do believe yep that's fine nothing can take it and then from there that was pretty straightforward so when it works it works you know um chess is a simple game um it gets complicated when you bring people into the game 